and endued with knowledge. You can't, in this world, be a, uh, what we call, a person who's not uh, knowledgeable yes. of the word. Because there are people who go to church who are not saved. Right. And they're college grads. Right. So we find that to be wise as well as have knowledge. And we know that you have to, number one, you have to depend on God. Right. And your conversation. Her conversation, I listened tentatively. They were put on the spot. I brought, I brought them up. Right, right. They were put on the spot. But it was enacted so until we got the picture. Right. Right. To the point where uh, when uh, um, Veronica put her on the spot, she responded not uh, vindictively, right, right. but she responded honestly. And it talks about the wisdom from above speaks about truth. Right. The wisdom from below is envious right, right. and has strife in it. Right. And it has no good end to it. Right. It causes confusion. Right. James is not talking to the world. No. He's talking to us right. inside the church. Right. You got some that are envious uh, against others because maybe, and I heard some say, they may dress good. They may wear their hair a different way. Some are, like to say, jealous of their home or, and so forth. That should not be in the church. And you know what it is? He says it's sensual. It's very nasty. It's nasty when you talk about, and some leave the church and get with a little group and run each person down in the church. And they call themselves Christians? That's not wisdom from above. That's devilish. All right, let's go back. And read that um, 13, 14, and 15 verse again. Are we ready? Amen. All right, let's go. Who, Who is, is a wise, wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? you? Let, Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. Meekness of wisdom. She didn't growl back at her. It was soft. It was me. Yes, and and it really caught off, really caught Raquel off guard, and that's good. You're gonna be caught off guard with some that you thought differently about you, and you're gonna have to be prayed up. Amen. You're gonna have to watch what James talks about in his first part of the lesson. That tongue. That tongue can bite back with poison in it. Let's go to the uh, 14th verse. But if ye have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. You can't tell the truth when you got that in your heart. It goes, it comes out different. Envying and strife in your heart causes confusion. Yes. It causes an upstair. It's not peaceful. No. And you'd be surprised how in the church, even among pastors and ministers, you got this going on. You got it going on. And you got some will let you know that they don't like you. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was sitting one time 
years ago in a, a, a meeting. It was a um, association meeting, and, and this pastor right next to me was talking about me. And because I had done what the moderator asked me to do. And I heard him, he was running, don't nobody need to do all of that, and do that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you know what I did? I said, how you doing, brother? Mm -hmm. I said, it's good to see you. He calmed way down. Mm -hmm. What does kind words do? Drives away wrath. Drives away wrath. But suppose I would have said, who are you talking about? I knew you were talking about me. Mm -hmm. Then there we would have been two fools mm -hmm. on the stage in front of everybody. After that, he was so quiet. When you do it the Lord's way, yes. you can kill that bitterness and yes. Yes. that conversation. Yes. They're going to have it in their hearts. They're going to have to deal with God with that. Yes. But you do your part. Yes. Don't you bite back. Yes. He said, bitter envy. You know what bitter is? Yes. They can't stand you. There's people can't stand you because you're doing the Lord's will. You're doing good. God is blessing you. God is uplifting you. God is holding you. God is answering your prayers. They can't stand that. There's some in the church don't want to see others succeed. Isn't that something? They don't want the some things you'd be surprised. Some hear what I say sometimes and hope it's not true. <laughs> you know what I just say, Lord, help them. Have yeah. mercy. Yeah. Let's read down. Did we read the 14th? Yes. Let's read the 15th verse. This wisdom descended not from above. This wisdom don't come from, from, from heaven. Right. No, it don't come from heaven. No. This is, this is, this this is messy. Yeah. Yes. It's messy. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, go ahead and read. But it's earthly, sensual, devilish. Devilish. That's what the devil is. Yeah, he stirs. He loves it. The more, the more you argue, the more you become bitter in envying and strife and causes much confusion, the more he just sits back and laughs. Yeah. It's amazing how some, it was out, some put out that I, I split the church. I wouldn't do that. No, no, no. No, no. It, it, it was out. I, I split the church. You know, it was out in the public. I split St. John. When I got up, when they had elected the pastor, yes. I said, well, I have served here. I have served the Lord. Amen. And I'm, I'm going now. Yes. I didn't tell Deacon Smith, no, Mother not. Smith, no. the family of the Edwina, no. or Sister Alicia, anybody that was there right. to right. come on, let's go. Right. Amen. I didn't tell anybody. Amen. My wife got up beside me and we walked out. Yes. And what did you all do, Deacon Smith? Well, you, mm -hmm. well, which you didn't tell us. I didn't tell anybody. No. We all, we followed me out. Yeah. That's right. That was your decision. Yeah. And they had it out that I split the church. Mm -hmm. How, what kind of preacher would I be? <laughs> Splitting the church. Trying to, get, trying to get members out of the church when I'm trying to get members in the church. <laughs> I'm telling members to find you a church home of your right. choice right. and stay there. Right. What kind of preacher is that? Uh, a member, a, a member, a ex member, whatever you are, trying to get members out of the church. Right. Oh, my Lord. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. That's envying and bitter strife. Right. God is not going to have that no. in heaven. No. No. And it's not from above. 
Amen. Amen. Let's read the 16th, 17th, and 18th verse together. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion. What is confusion? What is opposite of confusion? Peace. What is peace? Huh? Harmony. Yeah. What? Harmony. Harmony? Okay, what's another word? Huh? Calmness. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't yes. One what the, huh? One accord. One accord. Together. Together. Let everything be done. Decently and in order. Amen. In confusion, you don't have that. Right. You have chaos. Right. And that's what the devil wants. Right. From the White House to the Poe House. Right. We, we see it in almost chaos. Amen. Amen. And, and you can't have the spirit of the Lord when there's chaos. Right. Unless you're praying for mercy and say, all oh, repent. Right. Then you're going to have, uh, you're going to make the devil mad. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. He don't want you to repent. Right. He, don't want, he want you to see cross-eyed. You know, some people look at it, they look at you cross-eyed. Because mm -hmm. right. they don't want to have peace. Right. They want right. confusion. People, don't you know there are some people enjoy confusion? They work better. You go to their room. Look at, go, go walk in their room sometime. Not a walk. You can't even get in there. Everything is, they can't even find what they want. Go in there, they be fussing. Where's my other shoe? Well, you the one living in here. Don't make up a bed. Sheets all half on the floor. All right, I'll leave that alone. But the wisdom that is from above. Did we finish 16? For where ending ending is, there is what? Confusion. And every what? Evil work. Every evil work. Where there is confusion. There's every evil work. You know why? Because people gonna do evil things, devil things. Let's read the 18th verse. You know these lessons. Isn't it? Isn't it something? How people don't shout on these lessons? It's amazing how people don't say Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Isn't it very quiet? Isn't it something? And it's amazing how people doing this kind of mind will lie oh, yeah. to get people to con to agree with them. Right. Right. Yes. yes. You sure will. Right. They will lie. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had it out that Sister Alicia was driving my car. Some years ago, I had my hat on my, over my head. I didn't let nobody drive my car. Right. When I was before this operation. Right. Right. I drove my own because yeah. I was very sensitive because I, if I was going to tear it up, I wanted I want to. Yeah. Right. I wasn't going to trust nobody. Yeah. And the fruit of righteousness. Uh -huh. Let me go back up here. But the wisdom that is from above yeah. is pure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's not tainted. Right. Right. It don't have our ideas in it. No. We don't have it don't have our thoughts in it. No. It comes from God. Right. Right. It controls our mind. Right. We don't control it, but it right. controls us. Right. And it leads us in the right path. Amen. 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 But the wisdom that is from above is pure. Yes. Then peace, peaceable, yes. gentle, yes. and easy to be 
uh, entreated, yes. full of mercy yes. and good fruits, yes. without partiality right. and without hypocrisy. Yes. You can always talk twice right. when you have the wisdom from above. Right. You have to, well, uh, uh, yeah, I, I meant, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Uh, uh, yeah. You don't have to be scratching your heads, no. going back what you said. Right. You can say it twice. Right. Because the truth, you can repeat over and over and over, right. but a lie with bitter envy and strife, you got to, you got to say it. I don't know how many different ways. Yes. It all depends on who you talk to. The blind man that was made to see. Had one story, right. and, the, and the hypocrites tried to make him change. Right. Now, who's your mama? Yeah. Who's your daddy? No, he didn't do it. Right. Right. Well, all of a he said, "Who? Oh, who are you? Not? I, I tell you again, you're not gonna believe me. Right. Who are you trying to tell us who? Uh, we, we're the Pharisees. Right. 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 They were bitterly envious yeah. against yeah. Jesus. Right. Right. They were so envious against Jesus." Until they didn't want to accept that the blind man could see. Yes, yes, yes. This never happened. He was born blind. But Jesus opened his eyes. Right. I can't know this is a different person. Right. This is an imposter. Mm -hmm. That's the way people talk about us, St. John. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I say? Right on, right on. King yeah. Jesus. Amen. Because when we lift him up, yeah. Yeah. It's more good that's yeah. going on than bad. Yeah. You got to have a warfare. Yeah. You don't you know they're helping us get to heaven? Right. Amen. 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 Read that 18th verse again. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Isn't that wonderful? The Bible talks about being around a hot head. Mm -hmm. right. You can't tell that rascal right. nothing. Right. Hypocrites, let me tell you, it's just like you're trying to convert a stick. <laughs> Go out there, I'll tell you what you do. Look down. Everybody look down and just start talking to the floor and see what <laughs> That's the way hypocrite. You can't, you can't get nothing through to a hypocrite. They got their own sensual, devilish, envy, bitter envy, and strife. You are wasting your time. The Lord says, "Don't cast your pearls before swine." Lest they turn and, and rent on you. I, 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 don't, I don't, when I see somebody going a different way, I say, okay, hi, how you doing? Yeah. Go on. Because they already got their mind made up. Yeah. They got some unconscious thoughts right. about you. They already got it conceived yeah. in. Yeah. Right. So what, what am I supposed to say? Right. Right. If God's word don't change you, right. 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 what right. can I say? Right. 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 I know I'm not above God. I'm asking God to change me. Amen. Get me ready. Yeah. And he's doing, I, I, I thank him too. Amen. You know, he shows me things. I was, he, showed, he told me not to worry. Mm -hmm. He shows me different things in dreams. Yes. And, he, I, 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 and then I, I see some people. Mm -hmm. I just don't say nothing. And I told you about a certain person that I saw. And just as true, it's almost like you're looking at a movie, what I saw. The Lord showed it to me twice. And it's almost like looking at a movie. I heard it today, saw it today, yesterday. But anyway, uh, you can't change anybody's mind. Right. Right. 
It takes God. You have to do what he says, Christian, great St. John Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church. Let the spirit, that's what the, the Lord, as you pray, give you his wisdom. That's why it's important to have your morning meditation yes. and yeah. Bible. And open up your heart yeah. to God's word while you read it. Yeah. Just don't go like it's a nine to five situation. Right. Right. That's important. Those precious minutes yeah. in the morning and night are precious yeah. to your soul, yeah. to your mind, to your heart, yes. even to your health. Don't you know people are sick because they are not digesting they're not digesting the word of God. Right. If yeah. you really some talk about how much faith they got to God. If you really have and you accept the word of God yeah. don't you know that word to heal you? I was yeah. in I was in uh, I went to uh, when the late uh, Andrew Anderson we went to uh, Sister Anderson and I think uh, Sam at that time, and Sister Geraldine and, and uh, Renetta and Viola, Viola. We all went down to uh, a funeral of his mother, the, Andrew's mother. And I got, I got sick on the plane. I needed medical attention. And lo and behold, this colored woman, stewardess, from all these people, say, um, the ambulance is coming and we have Reverend Scott. She didn't have to announce my name. I say, look at this colored woman. That he's got to rush to the hospital. Just say, we have a passenger that needs a ministry to. Because I was the same color, I guess, I don't know. But anyway, I went on to the hospital. They administered to me and went to the hotel. And uh, I didn't go that night back to church on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And Andrew stayed with me. Now listen to this. Andrew was a walking Bible. For almost, I say, two hours, Andrew sat in my. I said, we, we was roommates anyway. He he sat, and I sat, and he quoted one scripture after another scripture for almost two hours. I mean, every word he said, I it's almost like looking at uh, the Book of Eli. And while he was quoting the scripture, don't you know I got better? I got, yes, power in the word. And he was delivering it from a pure heart. It wasn't envying and strife. When you give the word of God from a pure heart, it reaches the heart. And I felt better. It's something about God's word. It's something yeah. about being in this house. Yeah. I can't understand why people are yeah. sick. Stay away from the church. Right. This is the house of prayer where you get healing. Yeah. Somebody is not being right in their heart. They're leading on somebody else's faith. Yeah. According to your faith, yeah. so be it unto you. Sometimes you can have a loved one that you've been looking at for so long mm -hmm. and been unconsciously leaning on. Yeah. And then when that person get out of your life, mm -hmm. you lost. Right. Right. You don't know how to act. You don't know what to say. Right. Well, mm -hmm. God moves in mysterious yeah. ways. Yeah. He moves so that you can, like Isaiah said, in the year. Uzziah was blocking his way right. from seeing the Lord. Right. 
In the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. Hi. He want to show you something. Sometimes you got somebody in your life that have been, you've been looking at so long until you've been depending on them. And then when they're out of your life, God wants you to see him. I want to close and say to those who have been live streaming with us, the Lord is coming back. And if you're not in a church, all of those thousands of people in the stadiums, all of those thousands was at the basketball game, standing outside of the arena in that 90 degree weather. I, I looked at it. And, and they were shoulder to shoulder. And you mean to tell me you can't go to a church where you can sit by yourself? They didn't go to all those thousands of people and say, hey, COVID is raging. Satan don't want you in church. They want the church doors closed so that God's word. But you, you defy that. And you put yourself in the name of the Lord. Vaccine is not the cure. People with the vaccine get COVID. It's just a tremendous help. It is. It's a great boost to, to help us. God allowed that to happen. And, the, and, and people don't want to thank uh, this, this past president, but he ushered that in. President Trump. But anyway, find your church home. Yeah. I'm just not talking about church where you can, you can be boss. Mm -hmm. Find your church where the preacher is pastoring his word, un unadulterated. Yeah. God bless you today. Yeah. See you. Be at the Lord's will. Sunday.